Assalamu alaikum. Beautiful, awesome evening, everyone. And I hope every single one of you guys are really excited and really happy. Today is an awesome day. Today we're going to have an awesome lecture, an awesome class. So let's get started. So the class is about the third secondary subject is my beloved English. Semester, definitely this is the first one. Lesson, Unit 3, Speaking, Examination, Practice. Prepared by our lovely teacher, Ms. Amina, I'm sorry, Ms. Noura Al-Sufyani, and presented by me, Mishari al khamis So, the objectives, number one, to practice speaking in public about photographs comparison. Number two, to use some words correctly. So we're, gonna, we're having two awesome things and really are interesting. Okay, speaking, warm up. What do you think is the worst crime a person could commit and why uh, this is a, a funny photo of two guys watching a very bad person and they are saying the worst <laughs> i love to make uh, voices well for me uh the worst crime a person can commit it is um yeah yeah um, to kill himself. This is this is really bad. And why it's bad? Because you are ending your life. You are ending everything you know. You don't know about the future. You don't know what's going to happen. So why do you have to kill yourself? Okay, let's continue. So, the introduction. Number one, how is it dangerous to walk alone at night in your city? Well, um, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's not that dangerous, but I prefer not to walk alone, especially at really dark, like, like, like 1 a.m., like everyone is sleeping and you are walking along the street. It's, um, thank God we, we live in a safe community, and I thank Allah. For that and our leaders for providing this security but no one is perfect and you guys have to protect yourself so number two have you ever been a victim of any crime will <laughs> no I, I don't want to call it a crime no but once I bought um, a device and when I went home, it was um, not functioning, not working. The device was broken. When I returned back to the guy to talk to him, he said, I don't know you. Sorry. I was like, what? I just bought the device. And he said, nah, nah, nah. And I was really upset about it. Okay, it's been fun. Let's continue the content focusing on pictures. This is a picture of something called focus. <laughs> There's uh, two kind of photos. The first one, pick pocketing. The next one, kidnapping. So, pick pocketing. Kidnapping. So, what kind of question I would love to ask you guys? Photograph one and two show different kinds of crimes. Compare the photographs and say how you think either 
of the either of these crimes could be prevented. Oh, okay. Now we're going to talk about those two photos. Okay. The first one, he is stealing wallet. This is a wallet. The wallet contains or contain money, credit card, identity or identification. But this guy, he is kidnapping human. So how, how can we prevent it? Yeah, before that, this one is small. This one is definitely big. This one is light. This one is definitely heavy. How, how do you prevent it? Okay, I'm going to, guys, give you some ways to prevent. Prevent. To prevent something is to stop it, to not make it happen again. Okay, hide your wallet. Don't walk alone. Avoid dark places, keep calm, and don't be afraid. Stay alert, know your neighbors, avoid the crowds. This is, this is ways to prevent kidnapping and pickpocketing. Okay, <clears throat> listen. I'm sorry, let's listen to someone's participation and how he uses different phrases for comparison in his speaking. Now we get to listen, guys, to someone talking about kidnapping and pickpocketing and how we and he should prevent that. <clears throat> Picture one shows a kidnapping crime, whereas picture two shows a pickpocket stealing a wallet. In my opinion, it is easier to prevent a, kid, a kidnapping. Always stay with your family and don't walk alone. Also, you have to know all your neighbors and avoid speaking with strangers. On the other hand, preventing a pickpocket is not easy, as it can happen to anyone. Yet, there are some ways that can help. Firstly, Always be careful when you are in a crowded place. Secondly, don't have your wallet in a place where it can be seen by other people. Wow, that is a very interesting thing the guy just said. It's it's very true, and I think most of the way is totally, is totally correct. Okay, um, let's jump to the next one, that evaluation. Speak up! Now we're going to try to speak some of the, you know, sentences. Examination practice. Practice now. Task one. Choose the word or phrase that most appropriately complete the following sentences. So you're going to choose. Oh, I love that. Now, this is kind of a game that you have option and you have to choose the correct one. Okay, let's get started. Number one, Daddy, his brother for missing their flight to Rome. Oh, what do you think, guys? Number one, accused. Number two, blame. 
Number three, charge. Number O C. Number D, shouted. What do you think, guys? The correct one. A, B, C, D. You got guys five. Come on, people. Four. I know you can do it. Three, two, one. And the answer is okay. Very good, guys. Blame. What about the next one? The robbers made their in a fast sport car. Runaway. Entrance. Getaway. Exit. Hmm. This is very good. What do you think, guys? The same counting. You got it. Five, four. Three, two. One and zero. Which one is correct? <laughs> yes, yes, it's get away or get away. Okay, let's go to the next one. The thieves with a million euros made off went through, held up, made up. Oh, made up, made up. Oh, this is interesting. What do you think, guys? You have five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, guys, I know you're so excited about that. It's made up. To run with something is to made up with it. Okay. Let's go to number four. Charles, Charles Lindbergh. Charles Lindbergh's baby was from his home. A. Stolen. B. Burgled. C. Kidnapped. D. Robbed. What do you think, guys? Wow, that was a fast answer. You guys said kidnap. Very good, guys. Very good. And those are the answers. Summary. Speaking. Focus on pictures using comparison phrases examination practice use the appropriate words in the sentences uh, references uh, MMP materials travel of five teacher manual and pupils book uh, all the pictures you saw from Google Club art and number three perfect phrases from uh, TOEFL uh, speaking and writing Thank you very much, guys, for attending, and thank you, guys, for coming to my class as usual, and as always, practice, make perfect. Always, guys, practice English, not only here, but every single where, in your home, in your school, with your friends, and have a beautiful, awesome day, everyone. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Bye everyone, catch you later, bye. Ah.